Hey, what's up guys? Jay with Stinger here again on another Wicked Wednesday here on the House of Horror. This is actually Thursday, but I normally do Wednesdays, and I'm sorry for the late upload, guys, but some stuff came up again. I've just been working a lot lately, and uh, I'm going to have to start recording my videos on the weekend and just, just uploading them on uh, Wednesdays because it seems like every week something comes up. But anyway, sorry about the late upload once again, and I'm sorry I missed last week. But uh, today I'm reviewing a film called Squirm. This is another feature that stays in the same lines of uh, the creature feature films I've been doing lately. And I'm having a good time doing these. I... Uh, you know, I'm going to try to start watching some stuff I haven't seen before pretty soon, but I have seen Squirm quite a few times before. This is from 1976, and it is directed by Jeff Lieberman. You probably remember uh, his name from Blue Sunshine and Just Before Dawn, and uh, I think Satan's Little Helper he also did, and those are three pretty decent films as well, but this is probably one of my favorite films of his. It actually is PG. So, as you can imagine, there's not a lot of nudity, there's not a lot of gore. There is some little parts of gore, but if you're a big gore hound, I really wouldn't watch this one for that reason. But, obviously from the title, this is about worms. Even though from uh, the, the the creatures they use in the film, there, there's some centipedes thrown in there. There's a few other, few other uh, you know, insects and bugs thrown in the mix, but... Uh, they actually used uh, sea worms for the worms in the film. Sea worms, and there's some. The close-ups are uh, of uh, you know, earthworms and night crawlers and stuff like that. But this film stars uh, Don Scardino and Patricia Piercy. They're the the main two stars in the film, and uh, that's Mick and Jerry. And they're kind of like the love interest in the film. Jerry is uh, this uh, young lady lives with her parents still and she met Mick at a uh, some sort of an antique show and he's coming to to Georgia this is a fictional place in Georgia called Fly Creek uh, it's like a coastal city in uh, Georgia he's coming there just to look at antiques and stuff so it really just probably a bullshit reason he just really wants to see this girl again so you know you're kind of expecting them to have a romantic interest from the beginning but what happens in this town is it's a uh, it's an electrical storm, which causes all the earthworms to not only like rise up from the from the earth, but also to become uh, hungry for flesh. So they uh, they eat people, right? But uh, uh, Mick comes into town, and he uh, he immediately gets a you know gets a feeling of a small town southern life. You know, a lot of people just kind of you know. Uh, call him city boy and stuff like that and you know give him a hard time the sheriff of the town gives him a really hard time and uh then you know he finally meets up with uh jerry and they uh you know immediately people around the town are found dead and they have to figure out why and uh one of jerry's i guess neighbors is a uh he, he actually farms earthworms so you know, from that point on, you go throughout the film uh, finding more and more dead bodies, and eventually the worms are just everywhere, and they have to escape the worms at the end of the film. And um, it's a lot of the film is very comical, but at the at the end of the film, it actually gets really serious, and I think it, they actually do a really good job acting at the end of the film. But uh, um, I really enjoy this film a lot. It's it's by far not the best of this type of film that I've reviewed, but I think it is the most entertaining. I think the uh, it's, it's actors you haven't really heard of before, but they do a really good job acting. Uh, I think the the writing is really good. Jeff Lieberman also did the writing on this film. He, he wrote and directed. And uh, I just think that the, the, the characters are just really, uh, um, I don't know, they have a lot of energy, and I just really enjoy the, the uh, you know, the characterization and the way the, uh, the characters play with each other. Um, it's a really entertaining film. I can watch it, you know, any time. I've watched it a few times. It's actually on Netflix streaming right now. If you want to go check it out there, I haven't. I don't own the film, but I, I probably will pick it up one day if I see it for cheap. But um, yeah, it's a cool film. It's it's uh, as I said, it takes place in uh, Georgia. It's uh, Fly Creek is is it is the town they you know what the town's called, but it, it actually was filmed in a place called uh, Port Wentworth, I think. Georgia, and I'm not familiar with where that is in Georgia, but um, 
you know, th- that may be why I like the film so much as well, because, uh, you know, I can kind of relate to it. You know, I'm in Mississippi, and it's not too far away, but, uh, you know, if, you, if you're if you talking about the, the coast of Georgia, that's like a fucking eight-hour drive from here, so that's nowhere near my area, it, it, at least eight, maybe longer. But uh, if you ever get a chance, go to uh, Savannah, Georgia. It's a really beautiful city. It's uh, got got lots of really cool stuff to offer but um yeah it's a cool film i'd i'd highly recommend it to you guys but if you're looking for the nudity if you're looking for the gore you're not going to find it in this one there's a couple little pieces of uh some some cool uh, makeup effects on the uh the cover art that you'll see on the dvd is uh one of the characters and he's got like worms all in his face and stuff so that's probably the only cool piece of makeup in the whole film but uh other than that, there's you know practical effects in the form of real worms being everywhere. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, check it out. It sounds like something you'd enjoy. And thanks for watching, guys. And look for more horror reviews and more on thehouseofhorror.tv. Thanks for watching. Peace.